Snap Snap is a game that is somewhat similar to the cult classic Madison game and shares similarities to its gameplay style and monster design, even the story aspects as well, because they lack proper coordination as to what is actually going on in their respective stories, with many aspects of the plot untouched. Snap Snap begins with Nancy Drew waking up from her work nap and listening to a recording explaining to her about the arrival of the deformed corpse that looks very similar to the Blue Knees monster from Madison. While waiting for the forensic report from her friend, she gets a paper cut from the photo of the corpse that she took and goes to the bathroom to treat it only to see a glimpse of the dead body now apparently moving inside her house. When she leaves her party place, she notices that the flush got unclogged and now her pipes have started leaking shit everywhere all the while she is being chased by the corpse that disappears once she takes a photo of it from her trusty camera. We don't know what is going on exactly, she is basically stuck in some sort of a limbo and is being tormented by the corpse that is either cursed or works as a form of symbolism for the guilts that she experienced in her past, which we will eventually get to know of as we progress further in the game. We find out that this woman had a husband called Jack as well as a son called Daniel. They were a normal family at first until Jack brought home a strange picture that he bought from somewhere and got obsessed with it, staring at it for hours which eventually turned into painting the same painting himself that involved into him taking drugs and alcohol and resorting to violence against his wife and child. The woman eventually gets a divorce but since the husband cleans up his act right before it, they have to get joint custody of the child. Jack, being the abusive father that he is, hits his child multiple times while, in a, while he is in his care and the description for it is actually pretty graphic. Granted, the voice acting is actually pretty funny. Mommy, I want to move to your place. <laughs> Daddy hurt me. We watched TV and everything was fine. Then the TV played static, and Dad told me to hit that damn piece of shit real good. I hit the TV, but it didn't help. Dad screamed that I hit like a girl. He jumped off the couch, grabbed me, and slammed my head against the TV three times. After that, the TV started working. He let me go and, as if nothing had happened, sat down to continue watching the movie. That's not supposed to happen. Adults should not hurt children, especially their children. So this is where the absurdity of the game takes place. They do not share what happened to the father and the child as there is no mention if they had lived or died. But the game's theme is mostly revolved around the mother looking to forgive the father for the torment that he bestowed on both his wife and child. If a woman chooses to not forgive her husband then she is killed by the corpse but if she does forgive him then she escapes limbo before the corpse has a chance to grab her. The whole theme of the story is revolved around forgiveness and how forgiving someone eases the sufferer's burden, but something just feels off from the way they decided to execute this theme. For example, it's never mentioned what the painting was about and got the husband so hooked on it. Was it curse or something that resulted in his behavior to change? Because if it was, then there's no point for a forgiveness theme to even be in this game because it was not the husband's fault that he accidentally bought a cursed painting. If it was just the husband being deadbeat and taking drugs even before he bought the painting then yeah, the forgiveness theme works because the person was always like this, but then again they don't try to resolve this issue with the husband himself. They just give the choice to forgive or not without going through the character development of the husband. Is he being punished for his sins? Do we see him being punished for his sins? Do they show any way that the husband feels any kind of remorse? Nope none of that is present in this game. So how do you expect us 
the players to choose the good ending if you don't even properly know the backstories of the characters involved in this game. So that's all from me for now. Hopefully they'll improve the story aspects of these games in the future because they look really promising gameplay wise but that does not mean that you leave the story in ruins for the sake of gameplay and mystery.